All right, here we go with a request that was suggested quite a while ago. And uh, these runs were recorded a while ago as well. I just haven't gotten around to uh, uploading them. And it's also partly because I've used some of the pets in these videos in multiple uh, recent runs. So I was trying to kind of spread them out a bit. So the premise behind this one is to have frigate bird and a bunch of stoats, a uh, level three frigate that is, Pill microbe, <laughs> the frigate bird will give all the stoats rice and then you sell everything and try and win from there. So kind of similar to other stuff I've done in the past with uh, you know, trying to sell your whole team on turn 11, but uh, with a little bit of a, a twist, you know, it's kind of tough to get all the way to turn 11 with a big level three frigate bird and multiple stoats as well. And then you also have to find pill and microbe. So you can see here I was using a starfish. I don't remember which particular uh, run this was, but I actually, I'm sure I played uh, hundreds of runs trying to do this um, because it's just that bad. But here we actually get a very lucky matchup and I'm on turn 11 now with four hearts intact. I have two stoats frozen and uh, the pill. So, I mean, I've got almost everything I could possibly ask for. And for some reason here, I'm still doing the uh, buy sells. Maybe that's just because I'm planning to go further than turn 11. Really, I should just buy the stoats so I've got space to roll for microbe. Okay, I'm going to take one of them because I know that I've probably got very little chance of finding microbe this turn. And I really would also like to have more than one level 2 stoat. It's pretty important that you get at least one... Um, tier six that is level two or higher and there were some where I did have level three but of course if you have level three you can't combine anything um, and gain the stats now here we get very fortunate we get crow and microbe and stego in the shop so now we can actually go for it pill the microbe and I've been pilling a lot of microbes lately but now level three frigate bird gives rice to everything and we can triple sell and we actually get level two oyster and level one. So it's very similar to uh, one of the golden pack runs I did where I ended up selling um, a stoat. I can't remember if it was level three stoat, but I ended up getting oyster in that run. And that means you get tons of gold, which gives you, um, you know, <laughs> plenty of options to try and build a team of level of uh, tier six units uh, this late that could potentially get four more wins. So here I take T-Rex, which um, I don't know if that's the best option. I Maybe I should have taken Cat there instead, especially since we have a chicken leg in the shop. But I'm going to bring in the Mantis Shrimp. And I mentioned this in a video the other day about um, Stego and weakness. I, I decided to keep the Frigate Bird with the weakness. And actually the Stego can buff it. It doesn't do it here in this particular turn, but it is possible. Um... And I really wanted to try and get a run where the Frigate Bird was still in the team with the weakness intact. Maybe that's asking a little bit much. I think sooner or later here I will buy equipment on it and replace the, the weakness. But it is kind of novel having it in your team. So we're going to change the order a bit so that the Stego doesn't give uh, the stats to the Tiger at the back. And uh, I mean, I didn't already mention it, but I started this run very late because there will be another one um, once this one's done. Not quite the same thing, but uh, you'll see when we get there. So, you know, classic problem when you get to this stage is going against the Tiger teams. But actually here, we almost tie uh, the Tiger Leopard teams. I mean, you know, they're just, um, they're so common. And uh, having a unit with weakness doesn't really help, although actually I think the Leopard avoided it that time. So here I probably should have actually bought sold that Stoat for a chance to find another Tiger or um, Mantis Shrimp. Uh, maybe I'm going to take the Eagle here. We do get the level 3 Tiger. And maybe I should just take Mantis Shrimp again. Okay, we're going to go for Reindeer. That makes sense. We really want something that the Stego can give the buffs to, where the ability is actually going to matter. And uh, Reindeer is the obvious example of that. The only issue here is we do only have four health on it. So, you know, it could very easily get sniped. It's probably justifiable to put the Reindeer in second position as well and just let the Frigate Bird take the damage from any opposing Mantis Shrimp or something like that. 
and uh, it's another tie here because of the warthog but we can get level 2 mantis shrimp which we do and uh, we don't need tiger anymore it would probably be nice just to buy like two or three chicken legs onto the reindeer but getting the chocolate on it would also be very nice and yeah here again the reindeer doesn't get the stats you can see the stego did give the stats to the um the weakened frigate bird there and again we lose so level two reindeer and probably i should be buying equipment to guarantee yeah we're going to buy equipment to guarantee the frigate doesn't get anything it doesn't guarantee the reindeer will get anything because they could both go to the mantis shrimp and yeah okay we do get some this time on the reindeer which is great gonna result in getting a few ko's there and then we do lose the 50 50 but um it, at least we instant killed their mascox because they had the peanut and then we'll give uh yeah i think i was about to go for pancakes there but we'll change my mind on that one um given that we're pretty much making two other units 50 50 already the pancakes isn't all that great and then this is just absolutely brutal here raccoon on the opposing team and they gain enough stats from the second activation from the axolotl to one shot the reindeer there this this was a real low point in the last uh, month or so of recording i just could not believe my luck there i feel like i can go literally weeks without facing a raccoon in customs uh, but uh terrible timing there so we'll take the pancakes of desperation and really we just yeah it's gonna be i mean we're turn 18 there's so many teams are going to have 50 50 units here this team actually didn't have the pug links um you know they both had 50 attack but i think they still got the pug activation before the links so that was just absolute devastation at the end of that i couldn't believe that my closest attempt on that challenge had um ended in failure but uh, i carried on playing there was a lot more games after that and we're picking this one up on turn 10. This is one where I didn't find Frigate Bird. So I decided, you know what, just forget it. We'll just go for selling loads of stoats. And uh, we've already got two of them here because we're already on, um, uh, what, what is it? We're on four hearts still and seven trophies. So I feel like from my tier six units, I don't need a huge amount. I'm willing to greed another turn, just take the loss here and uh, use the alpaca triggers to get another stoat to level two because we'll also get a, a tier six as well so alpacas can go we're just going to sell the whole team now that we're on turn 11 and again we get oyster and tiger and i, I can't remember if this was exactly the same pack but a lot of the time um you know you're targeting getting tiger getting stego mantis shrimp um and here you can see the pack. Uh, I was constantly adjusting it because I would, you know, sell a bunch of stuff. Like maybe I would sell um, two stoats, get mantis shrimp and uh, wolverine or something, one game. But then the next game you get tiger wolverine and it's just a waste. So I think there was a lot of adjustment taking things in and out of the pack to try and give myself the best chance. Um, and of course, I've been through this process before, um, trying to do this with uh, the full team of stoats. I'll link that video in the description, but I don't think it's too big a spoiler to say that I ended up having to do it on my old account, which is um, basically considered a, a new account. But here we're going to take advantage of the fact that the mantis shrimp is 1-1 to buy a cat-boosted broccoli and take its health up a bit. And uh, we actually clear a lot of the uh, units from the front of their team. And we're going to spawn so many level 2 zombie flies that we actually win, despite the uh, horrendous stats across the team. Sometimes the, you know, the abilities are just so good and you just face the correct opposition that um, it works out perfectly. So here's another opportunity to um, buy sell a stoat. This time I do it, but I get uh, Puma. We will take... Uh, the sushi and the tiger and then probably should freeze the cat as well and then readjust the the fly okay yeah fly has to be fourth or fifth and 
Um, mole ox, definitely one that I've seen a lot recently, but luckily here we actually remove the ox, which means that they don't get the, uh, the activation from the mole. And we can go for the level 3 mantis shrimp. Oyster is great. And then another oyster. Really would be nice to see some food before I buy the cat. Am I going to just take the pancakes though? I think I'm probably just going to throw the cat in here. We only need one more trophy, so I think it's fair enough just to put the cat up front as fodder for opposing uh, mantis shrimp or woodpecker. It's a summon team. We delete the first three units. They've got everything with mushroom and, and all the pets aren't going to be able to respawn. Um, but they do have the bus and uh, osprey with the uh, yeah new turkey with loads of attack. So we don't have quite enough for that team, despite the amount of damage we did at the start of battle. Um, there is cow there, so I could combine cats and then buy that. Yep. And am I going to sell it? I guess I could roll and look for a waffle. We'll boost up the fly since it's the one that's most important for surviving the, uh, the start of battle. And I could also take Stego here. Another cow, although of course we've all exhausted the triggers on the cat. We'll just keep um, buffing up the fly and then throw Stego up front, much like the cat last turn. Yeah, I've decided to commit to Stego and not bother freezing the oyster. We should remove the biggest unit on the opposing team. Again, it's uh, an awful looking summon team with uh, mushrooms and belugas, although it is only level one deer inside, but uh, level two Spino, so good. Look at the stats on the Orca, just receiving so many buffs and uh, yeah again we're gonna lose they also get wolf to add insult to injury and walrus but yeah we never had a chance there so down to one heart we'll take uh, yeah I'm gonna sell stego by the uh, sushi and we'll freeze turtle okay we can pill turtle onto the fly and then just probably take the uh, flea here now here is a definitely a mistake where I Pilled the turtle, not realizing about the zombie fly. I make that mistake so many times. So instead of taking flea, we're just going to play with zombie fly up front. And look at this. German Shepherd's entire team gets sniped. Uh, another German Shepherd comes back. But um, with the zombie fly, we are going to get rid of the... Um, yeah, it's a tie. Oh, man. I, I thought, I remember playing this game and at that moment thinking that that was going to be a win. But, you know, German Shepherd with, uh, with all the roosters managed to get the tie. So back to the drawing board for another turn. We'll go for the level up on the tiger. I feel like I've had so many oysters these last couple of uh, roll, uh, turns. And buy the lasagna onto, am I going to buy it onto the fly? Take the stego. I should probably just buy it on the fly. It's my only unit with melon. Yeah, makes sense. And just hope now, no more draws. And it's elephant blowfish and we completely remove the elephant. So uh, what a relief at that point, really. Although the blowfish does get a lot of uh, damage away, the fact without the elephant, it's just uh, nowhere near as effective. And we actually end up getting the Mantis Shrimp achievement as well. So not quite the frigate micro pill that I was hoping for, but a full team cell win on turn 11 in customs anyway.